ओके वेलकम बैक दिस इज अ पार्ट टू ऑफ क्रिएटिंग व्यूज यूजिंग द टी सीक्वल कोड ओके यू लर्न वॉट फ्रॉम द पार्ट वन लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द क्रिएटिंग द व्यू दैट वॉज आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग वॉज दैट ऑल्टर व्यू ओके अगेन आई विल एक्चुअली शो इट टू यू दिस वॉज द यू डू हैव टू वॉच द पार्ट वन टू अंडरस्टैंड कंटिन्यू द पार्ट टू पार्ट टू इज द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ पार्ट वन रिमेंबर एट थिंग ओके द पार्ट वन इट्स ओके द पार्ट वन वी एंडेड फ्रॉम वेयर हियर यू विल री रन इट फ्रॉम हेयर देयर ऑन वर्ड्स ओके ओके नो वेन वी हैड क्रिएटेड अ व्यू ऑलरेडी इट डिड नॉट कंटेंट फॉर एनी स्टेट नो वी हैव ऑल्टर दैट व्यू एंड दैट व्यू स्टैंड फॉर फॉर द स्टेट ऑफ द कैलिफोर्निया ओके नो वी गो वेंट एंड सेलेक्टेड दिस रैन दिस टी सीक्वल कोड एंड इट हैज गेव अस द डेटा फॉर द स्टेट ऑफ द सी ए we inserted a record a row into the table we or into the t- view we authors and the row got inserted into it and then we went on to s- check it out with this thing what we landed up into the place where actually if you can see here where we inserted a row into the view we authors with the state for new york okay while we had created a view for the state of ca only but however the row got inserted into the view but it did not show up when we selected for the selected the view because whenever we have created a view in such a manner that that actually is for the state of ca as you can see the view did not actually when we select from the st- select star from the st- okay execute it doesn't show any row okay now let's go down but when we run this statement the re- the row that we inserted is there in the table in the author table okay now it has got into that table now i am going to run an update statement if i can insert a row with the new york state in the view that is created for the state equal to ca let me run this update statement for the state of texas okay i'm going to update to the state tx okay the state to tx for the author id this one here author id okay let's run this statement and it will not actually update any row it updated zero row means it doesn't work for the update okay let's go to the next statement now let me go check and see whether the delete works okay this author id doesn't exist in the state ca okay i am going to run this delete statement and it actually says zero row affected which means that the update and delete did not work while the insert still worked when we created the view for the state for ca now how do we stop it we stop it by using a check option whenever we create a view we have to create a view to stop the rows entering getting insert for any other criteria we can use a check option now there here is a view that we have used select this thing this thing and we have entered one more option one more clause of it of the alter view that is with check options what happens is that now whenever that state whenever that row is inserted if it not for the state of ca it will not allow the the view will not allow the row to be entered into the table okay let's run it once this tsql statement executes now the okay now the view has been created with the check option now let's rerun the statement for some other state and let's see what happens to the 
ओके हियर इज टी सीक्वल इंसर्ट टी सीक्वल इन टू दू दिस टाइम अगेन आई एम यूजिंग फॉर द न्यूयॉर्क ओनली लेट सी वॉट हैपन्स ओके दिस विल फेल बिकॉज नॉ द चेक ऑप्शन इज ऑन दिस हैज टू फेल डियर इट सीज के नॉट इंसर्ट अ डुप्लीकेट की ओके Okay, let's run it with a different key. Okay. First time it failed because of the primary key was duplicate. Now it will fail because the state is not for the C A. Now here it is. The item, the item insert or the update failed because the target with the view either specified with the check option or spans with the. Okay, this check option did fail. It did not allow the state for the new app to get into the view for the C A. Okay, that is what the check option does. Now I can drop the view. If I want, with the I have already explained to you. If I want to drop a view, I will drop a view with a drop view type view name, and go and the view would be dropped if it exists. Okay, now I am going to create a view v titles as select title id title price title price, and here is one computed column. Actually, I am. Using, okay, and I have given it a name, a discounted price, that is ninety percent of the product price, okay, and I have calculated it, okay. Now this is the aggregate field, okay. What happens is that it will create a view. Let's run it. Now the view has been created. Now what happens? So suppose if i try to insert a row okay let's go let's check it out what it shows me in the view okay this is the discounted price that has been calculated okay this doesn't exist in the table remember that thing what this is known as aggregate columns okay now let's go down and insert one row I'm trying to insert a row in a DBO, okay, the V titles, title ID, and etc., etc., etc. But I'm also trying to insert the discounted price directly instead of allowing the computer to do the calculation. I'm trying to insert it directly because of that field has been that column exists in the view. Now let's go and run this thing. T SQL code. and is going to fail because it contains a derived or a constant field okay so this will not view will not get updated with this insert okay now let's go to the same insert statement a little bit different okay this time i have removed that calculated field okay discounted price and i'm going to insert without those without that column okay and i am going to rerun the t sql code now it will get executed and it will go the row would get inserted okay this is actually because of the because the row already exist so it gets a giving a primary key violation otherwise the row has been inserted let's go and see it i already inserted this thing so it is giving me the primary key violation otherwise it will get inserted remember that thing okay here it is okay now suppose let's go and change it to the 34 okay and rerun this sql rerun this sql again Okay, it shows that the SQL has run and one row has been added to the to the view. Okay, let's go and check it with the view. Okay, now three four exist here. This is it. Okay, I did not supply any. I did not provide with the any discounted price as such. It was again automatically calculated by the view. Okay. Now this is how you actually can see the view. T SQL code 
if you say help sp help text data system stored procedure and a view name it will give you the t sql code for the view okay now i'm going to drop this view where the view has been dropped now there is an, another option that says create with the encryption now remember that thing when you create a view with the encryption okay the view t sql code is encrypted which means no user can see it that is good but then you also cannot see it so remember that thing if you are creating a view until and unless you don't have the code t sql code somewhere with you you won't be able to alter or modify that view you the only way would be to drop that view and recreate a view okay so encryption if you are using encryption you better make you print out the sql t sql code for that view or you save that t sql code somewhere else okay now here is the create view we authors with encryption t sql code okay here it is now i am going to show you what's the differences already i have shown to you that sp help text actually will give you the t sql code but in this case it is going to fail it's not going to give you it says it is encrypted okay okay now i can always alter the view if i have the code though not from the sp help help text but from the if i have saved it on the hard disk or some other places on my drive i can always use the alter view with the encryption and it still works okay there we are now this ends our view video and it ends the part 2 of it